Hey, I'm Andy Kelly, and these are little things I love about Alien. I love how the Nostromo and the refinery it's towing along behind it seems to go on forever in this shot, giving you a sense of just how massive it is. I love these slow, lingering shots of the empty ship. There's something wonderfully eerie about the absence of life. I love how the silence is suddenly broken when the ship picks up the distress beacon. I love the reflections of the computer monitors and the emergency helmets, which seem to be silently watching over the bridge in the crew's absence. I love the air rushing out of the hypersleep chamber when the doors open, as if we're an archaeologist uncovering some long-sealed Egyptian tomb. I love how blindingly white and sterile this room is compared to the rest of the ship. I love this shot of Dallas entering the cosy, womb-like chamber of Mother, the ship's supercomputer. I love everything about the bridge set, the personal items scattered around the computer consoles, the worn chairs hastily repaired with duct tape, that low claustrophobic ceiling. It's not our system. It feels grimy and close and real. What the hell are you talking about? That's not our system. I know that. I love how silent and ominous the Zeta Reticuli system looks as the ship approaches. I love this creepy little running on the spot thing Ash does, a first clue that something isn't quite right with him. I love those first glimpses of the derelict and how out of place it looks in this barren, primordial landscape. Ash, can you see this? Yes, I can. I've never seen anything like it. I love how Ridley Scott used his own kids as stand-ins here to make the already massive space jockey prop look even bigger. I love this incredible matte painting of the dark and cavernous egg chamber and how small it makes Ken look. I love the sudden cut from the violence of the facehugger attack to the eerie silence of the derelict. I love the reveal of the facehugger and the way it tightens its grip around Kane's neck as it senses danger. I love Ash's unusually curious reaction to Kane choking, almost as if he's been waiting for something to happen. I love Veronica Cartwright's genuinely horrified reaction here as she sprayed with way more fake blood than she expected. Oh God. <laughs> I love these gently swaying chains and how the sound of them softly rattling punctuates the scene. Then the shot of the alien wreathed in shadow, swaying along with them and waiting to strike. I love these close-ups of Jones watching curiously as Brett is killed by the alien. I love the way the air vent covers open and close like camera apertures and the grinding, scraping sound they make. I love the unbearable tension of this scene, how the beeping of the motion tracker grows more frantic as the alien descends on Dallas. I love how coldly matter-of-fact crew expendable is and Ripley's realization of Ash's true intent. There is an explanation for this, you know. I love the contrast of Ripley's bloody nose and the strange milky fluid leaking from Ash, confirming our suspicions that he's not what he seems. I love Ian Holmes' twitchy mechanical movements here and the stony and human expression on his face. It's almost as if being forced to break Asimov's first law is causing some kind of conflict in his programming. 
I love the watery distortion of Ash's voice and his disturbing reverence for the alien. Perfect. Well done, is it? It's structural. Perfection is matched only by its hostility. You admire it. I admire its purity. I love this shot of the alien rising slowly into frame and how it seems to be studying or toying with Lambert. I love the way the alien's tail snakes suggestively between Lambert's legs, which is quietly one of the most disturbing images in the whole film. I love the use of flashing lights and steam here to make us feel just as panicked and disorientated as Ripley. I love this long reverse tracking shot of Ripley making her way to the shuttle, her face lit by the flamethrower. I love how the alien hides in plain sight, blending in with these ducts and wires. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off.